point in hiding it. Everybody's bleeding except for Jin and John. Which doesn't make sense why John's not bleeding if Sawyer and them are. He's been here the same amount of time. We're here. Unless it's because he's special Thank or God. whatever. Oh crap. Is it gone now? Yeah. Just had to say something. <laughs> How the hell did Charlotte know this was here? He's been here before, apparently. I Just don't know when. I've been here before. I grew up here, on the island. And there was this thing, this Dharma initiative. And then I moved away with my mum. Just my mum, and I never saw my dad again. I would ask my mum about this place, yeah? But she would say that it wasn't real, and that I'd made it up. That's why. I became an anthropologist to find this island again. Why are you telling me this? Because I remember something now. This man. This crazy man, and he really scared me. And he told me that I had to leave the island and never ever come back. He told me that if I came back, I would die. Daniel, I think that man was you. I had a feeling she was going to say that, but... You're going down there? Too weird. Too weird. What exactly are you hoping to find? A way off the island. Miles, I'll see you when I get back. No! You're Stop! You're going to hop in? You don't bring Sun back. No, well, I have to bring them all back. That's that's how it works. How you know? I, I just know. I'll cut this. No, you do that, you'll kill every one of us. This island is bad. You don't bring Sun back, you promise. You promised you don't bring my baby. All right, all right. You have my word. Promise, John. I promise. I won't go to Sun, Jin, but she might find me. If she does, what do I tell her? You tell her I'm dead. You say I wash up. You bury me. Sure, you don't want us to lower you down. Where would be the fun in that? Whatever you're attempting to do actually works. Thank you. Oh, crap. Hold on, John. God damn it, hold on. I think you can let go of that now. Stay with me. I have a feeling she's gonna die this episode, guys. Everything's gonna be okay. I've got a plan. I've got one in the back of the hatch. I talked to Desmond. I told him to find my mother. She can help us, Charlotte. She will help us. How can your mother help us? She can. She <coughs> what? I'm not allowed to have chocolate before dinner. Charlotte. She's gone to Daniel. Charlotte. Somebody's in there. Who's there? Is that freaking Jack's dad again? Why is he still creeping around here? Hello, John. You. What are you doing down here? I'm here to help you the rest of the way. I don't understand. You came to see me in the cabin. 
You asked me how to save the island, and I told you you had to move it. I said that you had to move it, John. Oh, but Ben did it. Ew, is that why? Ben said he, he knew how to do it. He told me that I had to stay here and lead his people. And since when did listening to him get you anywhere worth a damn? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Of course, he was right about the people on the boat so, wanting to kill them all. That you're here now. Some of them, anyway. There's a woman living in Los Angeles. Now, once you get all of your friends together, and it must be all of them, everyone who left, and once you've persuaded them to join you, this woman will tell you exactly how to come back. Who is she? Her name is Eloise Hawking. What if I can only convince some of them? Let's come back. I believe in you, John. Richard said I was going to die. Well, I suppose that's that's why they call it sacrifice. I'm ready. <laughs> Good. On the other side of this column here is a wheel that slipped off its axis. All you have to do is give it a little push. How's he supposed to get there? His leg is broken. Could you help me up? No. Sorry, I can't. Is that why they keep flashing? Is just because of this? Good luck, John. Say hello to my son. Who's your son? May I? Take it. How does that prove he's alive? How do you have this? John gave it to me. You said John never came to see you. That's true, Jack. I went to see him. Jen gave it to him before he left the island. Why didn't Mom tell me himself? I don't know. Maybe he never had a chance before he died. I'm sorry I had to bring you here before I gave it to you, son. But all those people back on the island, Jen included, need our help. There is a woman in this church, and she can tell us how to get back to your husband. But we're running out of time, son. So I need you to decide right now. Will you come with me? Your husband didn't want you to go. Yes. What she was pregnant. Oh, hi. He looks confused for once. I assume the same thing you are. You're looking for Faraday's mother, too. So I was right, maybe. That woman with the white hair is Daniel's mother. Hello, Eloise. Hello, Benjamin. He knows her. I thought I said all of them. This is all I could get on short notice. Well, I suppose it'll have to do for now. All right, let's get started. Okay, guys, so I had to take like a half hour break after the episode ended. So it's been a little over 30 minutes. Uh, my husband had woken up during the ending and uh and everything and when he's around i feel self-conscious <laughs> about what i'm talking about to you guys so i just wanted to wait until until he left and he just left so anyway if i can remember um okay so charlotte died which was very sad um i know i was not a big fan of her uh, but I do feel bad for Daniel and, um, 
It's just really sad. So she thinks that he came to her when she was a child and told her not to come to the island because she would die, which apparently she ignored um, or just didn't remember because she just remembered it, you know, with all the flashing and everything. And um, so, yeah, so she grew up on the island. She was part of the Dharma Initiative. I wonder who her father was. She said that her father... Her mom and her moved away, and she never saw her father again. So um, I wonder if we'll find out who her father is at some point. Um, so I'm guessing that Daniel must have, if it really was him that came to her and told her not to come back, um, must at some point have time traveled to warn her as a child uh, so that maybe she wouldn't die. Um I guess it didn't work. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Daniel. He's he's a strange one, but his mom's even stranger. She is the white-haired woman. So, I was right when I was guessing it was Daniel's mom, but I was like, well, maybe not. Maybe I, so I didn't know. Um, that was before I even saw her face. And uh, so, yeah, I don't know. But I wonder what's... I don't know. It's just all very, as usual, confusing. Um, so yes. So I don't. I don't know why she can deal with time travel. I mean, she told Desmond that he couldn't marry Penny, um, which I don't know if she did that in the regular timeline or if that was a different like when he had his flash if that i don't know it's very confusing it must have happened in the regular timeline because the same, it played out the same unless the first time it ended differently i don't know i'm very i'm confused um i probably just confused you guys <laughs> because i'm not making myself clear i don't think um but yeah, anyway, so we did see more of Jen and uh, the French people. And uh, the flashes were different in this episode. I'm not crazy, right? They were like completely different from the first uh, few episodes of this season, right? Pretty sure that they were way different. But um, yeah, so Jen with Danielle and her people ran into the smoke monster and it took one of their guys they tried to save him and uh it was taking him down into some building i don't know what building it was but um it was it was trying to take him under they tried to stop it i was totally joking when i said that thing was going to rip him in half and it didn't like actually rip him in half but it did pull off his arm and it was really gross I, I was not expecting Lost to, to do that, to be honest. I think this episode has been more gruesome than any other Lost episode, except maybe the, the pilot, when we saw the pilot of the airplane in the tree. Um, I think that, yeah, other than that, yeah, I don't think we've ever seen this one, like, this much gruesomeness i guess you can say with the arm being ripped off and then the bone sticking out of john's leg it was just like Bleh. so uh yeah but uh, it was interesting because while the other people tried to go down because they heard the guy yelling which it, i'm pretty sure it wasn't him but i've never seen the smoke monster uh talk before like mimic anybody before um so yeah, and I thought that was so funny when the when the whoever is talking it was like it's gone, it's gone. I'm hurt. I need help. I was like, no damn, like, no shit. You're hurt. Your arm just got ripped off. And oh my gosh. So I mean, they should have been like a red flag right there because that guy would have sounded like in way more pain than he sounded. He had his arm ripped off for God's sake. That guy would be screaming in agony. But anyway, they went down there, except for Danielle, and that's only because Jen stopped her. And um, I'm kind of wondering if the the older Danielle uh, recognized Jen. 
you know um i've never really noticed anything like any kind of like looks or or anything that she might have recognized jen um from when they first crashed on the island uh i don't know but um jen stopped her from going down and while they were waiting uh it flashed and then they were gone and um Jin found them on the beach, and it was, I don't know how far ahead, but I don't think it had to be too far ahead in the future, at least at most, maybe a month or two, at most, if if that, um, which I doubt. I'm thinking maybe like a, a week or a couple weeks, maybe. I don't know. The, the arm was kind of mummified a little bit so i mean i don't know how much time but it couldn't have been more than two months because she was already seven months pregnant and she was still pregnant when he found him on the beach and she was uh gonna kill her husband um because she said that that he wasn't her husband that he's sick and all that said and two of the other guys were already dead and uh luckily we did see that her husband actually was sick or possessed or something because he's like at first i was like did she i was like maybe was she messed up and she killed them because she thought they were messed up um is what i was thinking at, in, in the moment um because he was like i don't want anything to happen to you and the and the baby and i love you blah 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 but then when she lowered the gun he tried to kill her i was like okay so he was bad so she did have a legitimate reason to to kill them so she killed her husband and Jen ran out and she was like, you disappeared. And, and then she started shooting at him and he was running and then they flashed again. And then, uh, when he woke up, um, I'm not gonna say woke up, but when the flash was done, uh, he was with Sawyer and everybody. So I'm glad they're all back together again. Um, they all went to the orchid and, or at least tried to go to the orchid. It kept flying. They, they got there. And then as soon as they got there, Juliet's like, I can't believe that we're in the same time as this. And then bam, it flashed and it was gone. Um, but uh, because of Charlotte telling them about the well, uh, they were able, well, John was able to uh, get in to the orchid that way. After he promised Jen that he would not bring his wife and child back. And... Um, he gave John his ring because he wanted to prove to his son that he was dead. And uh, that way she wouldn't come back. But uh, that obviously is not how the way things went. John, I guess, went to her um, and tried to bring her back anyway. I don't know. But um, he gave the ring to Ben, or so Ben says. And... Uh, Ben gave it to Sun to prove to her that Jim was alive, which I don't know how that proves he's alive, but you know, whatever. Um, and we also found out that I guess the reason things are the way they are on the island right now is because John did not move the island. Ben did. Um, so I don't know how bringing everybody back is supposed to fix it. Um, would have would it have still ended like would the same thing still have happened if they had uh left the island but John had been the one to move it? Would it still be this problem where they have to bring everybody back? I don't know, but in the end, they're not even bringing everyone back. The only people going back are Jack Ben John's dead body and son um so yeah it's just i don't know the daniel's mother said that you know it's gonna have to be good enough for now so i don't know what like her end game is i don't know i'm very confused on on what the big plan is but um i am excited to get into the next episode i'm gonna watch that right now and uh see hopefully Get some answers, which I doubt we're probably just going to get more questions. Uh, but I'm worried about everybody because Charlotte died. And uh, everybody else, except for Jen so far, are bleeding. Um, just like Charlotte. Uh, 
I still don't know why John wasn't bleeding unless it's because, you know, he's special, you know, for the island. That'd be my only guess because he's been there just as long as Sawyer and Sawyer's bleeding now. So, um, also Jen, I'm surprised he hasn't started bleeding yet because he's been there just as long too. Uh, so I don't know, but I'm worried that they're all going to die from this nosebleed stuff. Uh, I don't know what Daniel's going to be like now that the woman that he's in love with is dead. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and Desmond, too. Desmond's coming back. And Desmond didn't say anything, but you know by the look on his face that he recognized um, the woman as well. So, yeah. I hope we see more of that. I want to see more of that. I want that interaction and... and them to ask questions of this woman i just want to know because even for once even ben looks surprised i mean except for you know the other time he looked surprised is when they killed his daughter but uh or danielle's daughter but uh yeah he looked really confused when desmond showed up for one and then when desmond's like are you here looking for daniel's mother too <laughs> and he's just a look on ben's face like finally finally ben doesn't know everything uh but anyway so um but um, I really enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.